In the public eye, Grace Tame is a fierce advocate. Using my voice amongst a growing chorus of voices that will not be silenced. Behind the scenes, her abuser, Nicholas Bester, continues to target her. At last I will come for double O ferret double O, a reference to her childhood email address. Only four weeks to go. The good old comeuppance is on its way, which Ms Tame says would be an act of revenge timed with the release of her memoir. She's alerted police but says nothing's changed. It's really disheartening and disillusioning. Um, when you're, you, you know, you feel like you're banging your head against a wall when you're trying to draw attention to, um, you know, a, a menacing predator. This kind of behaviour from perpetrators is quite common as a tool or a way of continuing to exercise some control. There are effectively no orders to stop a perpetrator from contacting the target of their abuse once they've carried out their sentence. It means the onus is on victim survivors to seek a restraint order. But some argue the onus should also be on social media platforms to uphold their own policies. Not allowing bad actors who continue to abuse or use coercive or gaslighting tactics to, to abuse survivors and re-traumatise them. Tasmania Police says it's assessing the complaint and Ms Tame has been provided with advice. Mr Bester's Twitter account has been suspended. Alexandra Alvaro, ABC News.